Hi foodies, from time to time I get messages in my Instagram message box. Some of them I can answer right away, but some of them require a video for you to really get it. So I'm sharing today how I prep my cabbage for coleslaw. So all you need to do is cut the cabbage in half or quarters. Either way will be fine. So right here I have it in quarters. And then you can take off any of those leaves that look really worn and super dirty that just can't be rinsed off. So just with steady hands, you're going to hold the cabbage and then get a really sharp knife. All you need to do is just cut these thin strips. Patience is required, but these are going to be gorgeous. If you don't want to use that kind of knife, you could actually use a serrated knife. So get that knife and do like a sawing motion right along the cabbage and look at those beautiful skinny pieces. This is how I like to do my cabbage. I don't like a coleslaw with thick pieces of cabbage. Look at that. It's perfect. And I find that for some people, the serrated edge knife might be easier. Another thing you could do, cut out that core and then separate the leaves. I feel like I might have shown you guys this already on my coleslaw video but anyhow this is how we would do it press the leaves down and then start slicing or you can cut this in half if you want much tinier pieces so it depends on what you prefer some people don't mind the long skinny shreds some people want it um very small so you could cut it smaller like this what i'm showing you today is different ways to cut it for coleslaw but if you're doing like a stir fry or fried cabbage of course you can cut it much thicker now of course you could use a mandolin you could use um, a special kind of gadget you could use a food processor there's so many things you can use but today we're keeping it simple with just knife and vegetable peeler this is one of my other favorite ways to shred it look at that all you need to do is use a wide vegetable peeler do it the same way same motion you would for the carrot and look at that it's so skinny i love that very very thin you really could use whatever vegetable peeler you have at home but if you are able to purchase a new one i'd recommend getting the widest vegetable peeler you can find because the wider the blade the faster you'll get the work done and you'll get some really beautiful long pieces. If you have a small piece of cabbage left over, you can easily just lay it flat and cut your strips. Super simple. So there we have it guys, really beautiful, skinny, thin, shredded cabbage. I love this. This is ideal for coleslaw. And if you feel like the shreds are too long, you could actually use your knife and just go through this and chop it up if you want them smaller. Because some people like it smaller for coleslaw. So that's that. And if you want to see how I shred carrot with my box grater, you can check out that video. It was posted right before this one for stir fries and other dishes i use my knife mostly or a vegetable peeler but for coleslaw i do use the grater so check out that video and then you can make some really beautiful jamaican style coleslaw thank you for watching see you guys next time